Hey guys, Pyro Rules here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue. When we last left off, I was about to travel to level 2. Alright, let's see what we got here. Hmm. I have this vague memory of, like, having the key be in this n little narrow slope, like around this thing. A slope like like a little hallway like that, but um, but you had to like, but like a hallway like this. But there was like a, a hmm, teleportation pad on the corner, and you had to be, it teleport somewhere and then teleport back to to access it. I think like this found it. The only way to get past... Ah, oh, dang it. But still, this is this is it. I'm pretty sure. This is what I remember, at least. I remember something important being around that, that little area, and the only way to get to it was to teleport somewhere and teleport back. Alright, Vapor? Nice. Oh, snap. All right. Way to go, Vapor. Nice. Boom. Alright, now that we found the card key, we can access plenty of places. Uh, get out of here. Like this place. Hooray! Hooray! But now, where do I go? Hooray! Oh, there's the bed. Good. Good, good. I look tired. I should take a quick nap. Don't give up. And that healed all our Pokemon. Bingo. Ah, uh, oh well, we got the card key. We made our progress. Maybe I can fight Giovanni in this part. All right. Ugh. Really, that didn't. That should have one hit KO'd it. Awesome. It's a critical hit. Not that it needs to be critical hit, but. Hooray! Hooray! Yeah, we're gonna switch to uh, Didi because flying super effective against fighting. Nice. Ha! Come on, Didi. Live, live, yes. Algebraic! Alright. Yay!
guy. This has to be the right way-ish. Yay. Mm. Ah. What kept you, Red? What are you doing here, Blue? Ha! I thought you should turn it up if I waited here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down, not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. But how did you show up in this building? Why did you... Uh... Alright. Of course, which means my Big Doug should be switched out. <sighs> we'll switch it for... Crudlots. I guess... Mm, Ms. Nitto, because he knows uh, Thunderbolt. She knows Thunderbolt, I should say. Take it out quick before it uh, sand attacks us. Okay. Let's use execute. We'll switch to DD. Yeah, I don't think DD is going to be able to KO it, but hey, can we get it? Flying is also super effective against grass. Unfortunately, execute is grass psychic. Uh, at least it's not using that uh, one annoying move. Leech seed is pretty annoying though. Does this thing know any moves that actually are physical? That can actually hurt me, aside from leech seed? Wow, Blue, that's kind of sad. You lost to a Pokemon that was like 10 levels lower than you. Oh. Come on. Ha. You are not a smart trainer, Blue. Either that or your Pokemon's just not obeying you. Switch to. Let's switch to Houdini. Gardas has got a nice sprite. Sitting out like a Zam by now. Oh well. I oh, will switch to Vapor. Yeah, um, Kadabra evolves by trading. So technically I could evolve at any time, but I think we'll wait. Uh, of course, the usual cover. Uh oh. No. Ha. <laughs> That's funny. You know, Uli Geller actually uh, tried to sue Pokemon 
for saying that Kadabra or Alakazam, I can't remember which, was a um, was a stealing of his likeness, and that his ability to bend spoons it, it's copyrighted by him or something. And he tried to sue Pokemon because he claimed that they were stealing his idea or stealing his image or something. He lost the lawsuit, obviously. It's pretty funny. Considering the, considering the thing was that the, these were made in Japan like a decade before he started deciding to sue, I really do not think that uh, they had anything to do with his likeness or spoon bending. Uh, spoon bending dates way back. Hooray! Red defeated blue. Oh, how? So you are ready for the boss rocket? Yeah, I already fought Giovanni. Well, Red, I'm moving on up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and what, how do they evolve. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful strainer. <laughs> well, Red, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. Smell ya later is what you're supposed to say. Yes, he leaves without defeating Team Rocket, which proves he's not a nice trainer. Hi, hey, you're not a rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Lapras. <clears throat> nope. There's no more room for it. You sent to the box one. Well, that was awfully nice of you. You know... Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. I know. I know. I know. Um... I think it's uh, very nice of them to transport that to my box as opposed to, like, sometimes in later generations, but... You... Dang you. Where you, uh, if you don't have an empty space in your party, they won't give you the thing, and you have to go backtrack and get an empty space. Ground versus ground, eh? Uh... This will be a slow battle if I don't switch out, so, um, let's just send out Vapor. Surf. I believe Surf is super effective against ground types. Yep. Drowsy, um, we'll keep it. We'll keep Vapor out. Vapor, Vapor's awesome. Ha! Let me Drowsy fainted. Look, it's about to use Marowak. Hey, a Marowak, that isn't an undead Marowak. Hooray! Don't, please. Don't what? I'm not actually gonna hurt you. We only fight Pokemon here. Bingo! Guard key, open the door. Alright, well, in the next part, we will take on the boss Giovanni. And, uh, get a Slithko, and, hey, maybe even take on the next gym leader, Sabrina. Um, but for now, Pi Guy rolls out. Join me in the next part.